Welcome to the Crystal Mermaid. My name is Jessica. I am an intuitive light worker here to raise the galactic consciousness one stone at a time. Today, this special message coming to you live and it's inspired by where the energies of the planets are right now and what kind of change we're stepping into. So it's, we're in a very unique space right now. And I want to start by the new moon that's coming tomorrow is in Libra. I'm just kind of setting the stage here. The sun is in Libra. Jupiter is in Scorpio. And the Sun and Uranus are opposing each other. So there's a lot of energetic chaos going on in the universe. But this time right now is about taking life to the next level. And it starts with pushing your boundaries. So Uranus is a planet of risk and change, helping us to feel confident as we try something different and push forward. So that energy is reminding us to open up and have big dreams because now is the time that we're going to be accomplishing those big dreams and really seeding with the new moon what we want to manifest in this next cycle. Okay, so <laughs> Uranus. Then we have the new moon, just it's in Libra. Libra is a planet of perfection, a planet of balance and being idealistic. So again, this is a time that we can really utilize to put the dreams that we have, the biggest dreams that we have into motion and set them on their course because they're ready to take off on the journey. We don't quite have everything revealed to us just yet, but it's time to move forward. So trusting in yourself that you can move forward. Seeding trust in yourself if that's where you're at, because that's the first step planting the seed within yourself and saying, okay, this is what I am ready to do. This is what I want to do. And therefore I'm committing and I'm moving forward. Even if the dreams seem idealistic or the goals seem idealistic. Libra is going to bring in that, that aspect of balance, even with the new moon in that space, because the sun is in that space. So the sun being in Libra, it's not its strongest position. It's, it's right now the sun is falling. And what that means is we're in the six months where we have less sunlight um, and more darkness. So we want to find, or again, find that balance. And the new moon and the, the sun in Libra together are finding that balance. Finally, Jupiter. So Jupiter, since the 10th of October, has been in Scorpio. It's going to be there for the next 13 months. So individually, this affects us all a little bit differently. But as a whole, Jupiter is the planet of expansion. It's a planet of growth through expanding your boundaries. What, again, pushing outside your comfort zone, what are you uncomfortable with that you need to be pushed by 
by something else, a stronger force, all these planets aligning themselves pushed in that direction to, at some point in your life, be comfortable with it. Because what you're comfortable with today, you weren't always. And it took some kind of a push and a motivation to make you feel comfortable where you are sitting right now. So growth and expansion through pushing your boundaries. That is a really strong energy that's coming in. All right, so why is all this a special announcement? What makes this different than um, you know any other video? Well, I am in a space of myself pushing those boundaries. There is a astrologer um, entrepreneur. His name is David Lawrence Palmer. He has a network called the Leo King right now, and it's expanding. I am wanting to and have been working toward becoming a part of the Leo King Network, which is hopefully it's the future life network is what it's turning into. And all of these planetary alignments have just shown me that it's happening. All of the energies that are occurring right now are in alignment with me pushing outside my comfort zones me stepping into the next level, um, expanding my boundaries. And essentially, I heard a phrase where you can be a big tree in a small yard or a small garden, but you're only going to grow so big in that small garden. So, hi, Kent. <laughs> um, hi, hi out there. Um, so I'm looking to step outside my boundaries and take that chance. Um, I, by nature, am a perfectionist and tend to not want to share until something is perfect. And doing, doing the Crystal Mermaid, sharing with the Crystal Mermaid, and everything has allowed me to become more comfortable when things are not perfect, whether that's the environment that I'm in, the way I'm feeling that day, whatever it is, because we're always striving for that next level. So all of this kind of coming together and creating a space where I can, any of us really, can leave self-traps, because I feel like I want to be a bigger tree <laughs> in the in the forest, essentially, with other trees, light workers, supporting and sharing messages with people who are ready to receive. And that's that's what it's all about. It's all about information and education and sharing with one another so that whatever it is that resonates with you inspires you to step up and step into your light in a brighter way. So taking life to the next level. That's the energy right now. Along with that, tomorrow's new moon is happening at 12.12 12 p.m. Um, Pacific Standard Time, so around 3.12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And um, I will be doing a live tarot reading, Crystal Mermaid Daily Stone and tarot reading, especially for the new moon in Libra tomorrow. So please join me. And again, stepping outside of those comfort zones and doing live videos where not everything is perfect. <laughs> there's no editing. There's, you know, it's just raw and real. That is one of my strongest mantras that I utilize on a regular basis. So find your mantra. Step into your light. Let your colors shine bright. It's what we're here to do. Okay, so thank you for joining me on this 
special announcement Facebook Live. I hope to come back to you soon and give you good news in the sense that the Crystal Mermaid becomes a part of the Leo King and the Future Now Network. I will be I'm in the process of submitting all my application and everything like that. It is open casting, so if there's anybody out there who wants to share their light through a medium, if you've checked out um, David Lawrence Palmer, the Leo King, or another one of my fellow light workers, David Hauser. Um, he does Oceans of Love on Soul Kiss TV. And these are awesome people that are just here to inspire us every day to live in a higher consciousness and a, a higher level by being prepared and tapping into the energies and the tools that are available to us, like astrology, tarot, crystals, rocks, and gemstones, and all these other, all these other things that are out there that allow us to use our intuitive guidance to make decisions vers versus, for example, um, the news or newspapers, stuff like that, where things are very one-sided and you, you are aware of the um, less objective angles <laughs> that are being less, that are being shared. Although, when it comes down to it, there are 360 degrees, and usually we're only looking from one degree at a time, so we can always broaden our perspective and see things from a new angle. Um, all right, I think I think that that's it for this special announcement. Um, I did want to um, just mention, so about four minutes before I started this live video, uh, uh, one of my best friends back east sent me a message and told me that um, his grandmother passed away, and she was like a grandmother to me as well. So I want to acknowledge just in the energy of, of the universe that we are we're in a space of change. If nothing else, that confirms to me that we're transforming like humanity as above, so below, okay? So when I find out that uh, a human being who I love so dearly and was very close to has transitioned, I see the... I see the channels, I see the veils, I see the, it all removes itself a little bit more and just reinforces where the energy's at right now. Because as I'm sitting here, you know, about to, to go live into something that I'm uncomfortable doing sometimes, this live aspect, um, I get a message of a transition of a subject that people, death, which is a very uncomfortable subject for a lot of people. It's something that, you know, thankfully, for whatever reason, I've been gifted the ability to um, understand our transformation energetically in a different way than a lot of people. But, and, and during times like this, it, it's more of a comfort and a help to have that energetic intuition an understanding of transformation as energetic beings. So, you know, I just, I really felt called to acknowledge that on the video because it, it's a thing that's happening. It's a real thing. We are transforming and transitioning in many different energetic ways and a lot of ways that going to the next level Still being in a physical form, but taking our spiritual selves and being willing to be open and conscious and rise up to the next level with our own collective consciousness, individual consciousness, and then galactic consciousness. And then as the Crystal Mermaid, my goal is to nourish the galactic consciousness. You know, I'm a dietitian, so I am helping other humans learn how to nourish themselves optimally physically, but I can also, like what I also am doing is helping other people nourish themselves spiritually and emotionally and 
in the same time feeding myself. So it's soul food, nourishing the galactic consciousness. You feed soul food. <laughs> um, but yeah, and so one more, one more light into heaven. And Uranus is the planet that rules the heavens. So that beautiful, beautiful synchronicity that's happening, happening right now. All right, I am <laughs> just about ready to, to let you guys go and um, see you tomorrow. Um, I will be letting you know, I think it's going to be right around noon time, Pacific Standard Time, that we will be doing Crystal Mermaid New Moon Tarot reading. So please be sure to join me if you are available. If not, that video will be up later in the day, as always. It will be also on YouTube. If you haven't subscribed to YouTube, please check out my channel and subscribe. I am on Instagram at Crystal Mermaid Healing, and I'm on Twitter at Crystal Mermaid, the letter T. So in, you know, looking to be a part of a bigger garden, a bigger network, I also am looking to expand who it is that I'm reaching. So if you guys know I mean, this is just straight up because it's very, like, awkward. And, again, it's all about being outside your comfort zones. So um, if you guys know anybody who would be interested in this Crystal Mermaid stuff that I do, <laughs> please be sure to share it with them. So I'm looking to get more followers and more likes and more subscribers and all those good things. So um, we can all step into the future life now. <laughs> How's that sound? It's not too like promotey or anything, right? Um, <laughs> that's that's all of what I'm doing, right? I'm setting an example. You lead by example, so I'm setting an example by openly showing you my outside my comfort zone <laughs> in a in a very um, in a very real way, so. All right, with that, I am going to sign off and let you guys take just a beautiful view of what I get to see every night and every morning and every day, all day. When I wake up, when I go to sleep, come out here, look at the new moon, look at the full moon, enjoy the eclipses. This is what, this is what life is for me. Three weeks out of four, anyways. The other week, I'm down in Las Vegas at my office down there, grinding, working with patients, and loving, loving every minute of what I do. Because work is only work if you don't love what you're doing, even when it's hard. And the harder the work, the greater the rewards. That has been my life experience thus far. And for that, I am grateful. Thank you again for joining me. I hope to see you tomorrow, noontime, Thursday, for the New Moon Crystal Mermaid Tarot reading. Aho!